Have there been promises made to you that have been unkept and broken? Maybe you've been promised the support of a friend or a family member in your time of need and and they gave up on you. Or maybe somewhere along the line, you were in a relationship where someone promised to always love you and they turned around and hurt or betrayed you in some way. And maybe you've even promised yourself in regard to certain areas and situations of your life and you were even unable to follow through. If this is you or you can relate and are currently experiencing any of these situations, I've got some news for you. God's promises never fail. It's pretty plain and simple, pretty cut and dry. There's no games, no drama, no lies like you might experience in everyday life. It is pretty plain and simple, period. You know, others are going to let you down. They're going to disappoint you. And they're going to break promises that they've made to you. But God's promises prevail and they apply in our everyday lives. If we will devote our hearts, our love, faith, hope, and trust in him. Joshua chapter 21 verse 5 says, Not one of the Lord's good promises to the house of Israel failed. Every single one of them was fulfilled. 1 Kings chapter 8 verses 56 through 61 says, Praise be to the Lord who has given rest to his people, Israel, just as he promised. Not one word has failed of all the good promises he gave through his servant Moses. May the Lord our God be with us as he was with our fathers. May he never leave us nor forsake us. May he turn our hearts to him to walk in all his ways and to keep the commands, decrees, and regulations he gave our fathers. And may these words of mine, which I have prayed before the Lord, be near to the Lord our God day and night, that he may uphold the cause of his servant and the cause of his people Israel according to each day's need, so that all of the peoples of the earth may know that the Lord is God and that there is no other. But your hearts must be fully committed to the Lord our God to live by his decrees and obey his commands as at this time. Psalm chapter 85 verse 8 also says, I will listen to what God the Lord will say. He promises peace to his people, his saints, but let them not return to folly. Psalm chapter 119 verse 140 says, Your promises have been thoroughly tested and your servant loves them. Psalm chapter 119 verses 147 through 150 says, I rise before dawn and cry for help. I have put my hope in your word. My eyes stay open through the watches of the night that I may meditate on your promises. Hear my voice in accordance with your love. Preserve my life, O Lord, according to your laws. My comfort in my suffering is this. Your promise preserves my life. Psalm chapter 145 verses 13 through 14 says, Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and your dominion endures through all generations. The Lord is faithful to all his promises and loving toward all he has made. The Lord upholds all those who fall and lifts up all who are bowed down. Acts chapter 13 verse 34 says, The fact that God raised him from the dead never to decay is stated in these words, quote, I will give you the holy and sure blessings promised to David. 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verses 20 through 22 says, For no matter how many promises God has made, They are, yes, in Christ. And so through him, the amen is spoken by us to the glory of God. Now it is God who makes both us and you stand firm in Christ. He anointed us, set his seal of ownership on us, and put his spirit in our hearts as a deposit, guaranteeing what is to come. 2 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 1 says, Since we have these promises, dear friends, let us purify ourselves from everything that contaminates body and spirit, perfecting holiness out of reverence for God.
In Ephesians chapter 1, verses 13 through 14, it says, And you also were included in Christ when you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. Having believed, you were marked in him with a seal, the promised Holy Spirit, who is a deposit guaranteeing our inheritance until the redemption of those who are God's possession to the praise of his glory. Hebrews chapter 6 verses 11 through 13 says, We want each of you to show this same diligence to the very end. In order to make your hope sure, we do not want you to become lazy, but to imitate those who through faith and patience inherit what has been promised. In Hebrews chapter 10 verses 22 through 24, it says, Let us draw near to God with a sincere heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled to cleanse us from a guilty conscience and having our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope that we profess, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds. In 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 3-7, through 7, it says, His divine power has given us everything we need for life and godliness through our knowledge of Him, who called us by His own glory and goodness. Through these He has given us His very great and precious promises, so that through them you may participate in the divine nature and escape the corruption in the world caused by evil desires. For this very reason, make every effort to add to your faith goodness and to goodness knowledge and to knowledge self-control and to self-control perseverance and to perseverance godliness and to godliness brotherly kindness and to brotherly kindness love. James chapter 1 verse 12 says, Blessed is the man who perseveres under trial. Because when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life that God has promised to those who love him. In 1 John chapter 2, verses 24 through 25, it says, See that what you have heard from the beginning remains in you. If it does, you will also remain in the Son and in the Father. And this is what he promised us even eternal life. So if you are a person who has experienced disappointment after disappointment, and you've been feeling as if those who have made commitments with you and promises to you have just really let you down, I want to encourage you today that based on the scriptures that I was just speaking about, and and everything that I've said so far, that God will never let you down. And to always keep in mind that all of God's blessings and promises are real. Yes, they are real and they are true. And if they weren't, I wouldn't be here today. And you will find that we as his people really do need to revere and respect what he gives us, what we already have, and to also give back to him giving of our hearts and our lives in reverence to him. And most of all, the promises that we've made, we need to be keeping those promises also to him. So remember, God never breaks his promises.